Jewels of the Pauper by Horatio de la Costa. There is a thought that comes to me sometimes as I sit by my window in the evening, listening to the young man's guitar and watching the shadows deepen on the long hills, the hills of my native land. You know, we are a remarkably poor people, poor not only in material goods, but even in the riches of the spirit. I doubt we can claim to possess a truly national literature. No Shakespeare, no Cervantes has yet been born as a touch with immortality, that which is in our landscape, in our customs, in our story, that which is most original, most ourselves. If we must give currency to our thoughts, we are focused to meet them in the coinage of the foreign tag for we do not even have a common language. But poor as we are, we yet have something. This pauper among the nations of the earth hides two jewels in her wages, and one of them is our music. We are sundered one from another by 87 dialects. We are one people when we sing. The condiments of Bulacan awaken an answering chord of roots of Plate. Somewhere in the drab north, a peasant woman croons her child to sleep, and the Visayan listening remembered the crane fields of his childhood, and his mother singing the self-made song. We are again one people when we pray. That is our second treasure, our faith. It gives somehow to our little uneventful days a kind of splendor, as though they had been touched by a king. And did you ever notice how they are always mingling our religion and our music? The harvest and the seed time, the wedding, birth, death, are among us drenched with the fragrance and coolness of music. These are the bands that bind us together. These are the souls that make us one. And as long as there remains in this island one mother to sing Nana's lullaby, one boat to put out to sea with the immemorial rowing song, one priest to stand on the altar and offer God to God. Our nations may be conquered, trampled upon, and slain, but it cannot perish. Like the sun who dies every evening, it will rise again from the dead. Jewels of the Pauper by Horatio de la Costa.